Right, time for another tutorial. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I drew the snowman in a stage by stage process. So if you want to copy it, you can. Again, when you draw your own version, it's like when we do draw with Rob, it won't look the same as mine because all kids or adults as well, you might have a different shape beak, you might have a really long pointy one, you might round her eye, you might be using colour. So even if you think you're copying, they won't look the same as mine. They'll all have their own personality and I think they'll look fab. So let's do this snowman next. So I'll start with his head. Sort of two thirds up in the um the circle you've drawn. Draw his head, a bit of a squished circle, and then we'll draw his body on. Best way to make sure it's going to fit in. Have his body on underneath. Uh, then shall we do his his eyes? On this one actually, I'm going to do. I've drawn him as if he's got his eyes shut. There, I'm going to draw them open because that's how I embroidered mine in the end. So we're doing with two open eyes, carrot for a nose, basically triangle in the middle. A smiley face. And then should we put his hat on? So we do two little curves at either side, join them together over the top. Put his little bobble for his bobble hat. And then we we'll join it on. And then should we put his scarf, keep him nice and warm. It's up to you if you want to do stripes or not. Again, all these details, you might put them on when you draw it, but when you come to embroider it, you might think it's too much or too tricky. So you can just leave them off. Just go with whatever you're comfortable with when you come to embroider it. Your little scarf. You might do this one a bit straighter. Let's get some lines out this time. Uh, and then we'll do his coal for his buttons. Let's see. And then his arms. Use a little stick and then like a little V shape for his fingers. Same again on that side, stick with a V shape. Uh, and then we'll put a bit ground him for some print to sit on. We'll do the snowflakes. Again, I do a cross. Like you're drawing a kiss in a card and then a line down. Cross and a line down. Cross a line down. Smaller one perhaps. And then again, I'm going to put the year because I like to put the year on the bottom of mine. So when I get them out every year on my Christmas tree, it's nice to remember which one you did. And perhaps you might do one next year and then you can see how different your designs are in 2022. 